Well, I've got version two of this Bluetooth, I'm sorry, the Kooey Bluetooth one to eight mouse keyboard to eight different devices uh, breakout thing working. And the, the, the whole point of this was to adapt the thing so that you can use external switches and have a more permanent setup on a power chair. So now everything is in three parts. You have the display unit part, which is here, and this will get mounted to the bottom of the power chair stick. So uh, it's about as small as I can make it at this point and still have things that are, are feasible. And it is connected to its next box via this ribbon cable. So this is an FRC cable. It's an eight conductor cable because I need to pass eight conductors up. Um, so th this, I have about a, I think this is a 12 inch uh, on here right now. It can be swapped out with shorter and longer if need be. Also, the other thing in the enclosures, I have cut out slots on all three sides. So if you really, really, really wanted to make it come out a different side, that's possible. The same thing with this box. There's a slot on that side, and then there's a slot on this side, and I have it through the back. Now, one of the differences, th this is where you plug in this RJ45, which goes down to the base, and you have the two jacks here, the two ports, and one of them is the on-off switch, which works like before. It requires a toggle switch to either snap on, snap off. And the other one is a momentary switch. And the momentary is for uh, toggling to the one of the eight uh, different USB, I mean, uh, Bluetooth devices. What is new on the box is there's a little switch here now. So it is a three-way switch. It's a three-way slide switch. When it's in the middle, the unit's completely off. So it is... It doesn't matter if you are toggling this or not, it is off. If you press it towards the side of the RJ45, that side there, it will be always on. So this is good when you're testing it in your, or your toggle switch doesn't work or things like that. So that is always on. And then the other way, which is the switch toward the jack, is uh, it will only power it based on the status of this switch. So if your switch is toggled on, it'll be on, off, off. So that, that should make debugging a little bit easier and uh, you could completely shut down everything if you need to by putting it in the center position. The base unit, which goes uh, kind of tucked away behind the chair is exactly the same as before. It has the RJ45 connector, which will go up to this unit, which will be closer towards the head of the chair, the control of the chair. And again, we'll be using that really nice monoprice, super thin ethernet cable, which uh, is just really cool for this sort of uh, purpose because it's so thin. Uh, as before, you'll provide power through a USB-C port and then you have your mouse and your keyboard connections here. So mouse and keyboard or combined, whichever, go here. So as before, this will be beneath the chair or in the back or wherever it's going to fit and have those cables. It'll run the RJ45 up to this unit, which will be mounted somewhere close-ish to here and have your two switches plugged into it. And then this cable will go between these two boxes. Now, because I don't like hardwiring, that's part of the reason why I went with FPC ribbon cable, because there are small connectors in each of these units so that they could be connected and disconnected and replaced if need be. So if, if this fails for some reason, uh, you don't need to do any soldering or anything, though the, the enclosures are pretty tight. So, uh, you know, some of it's going to have to be taken apart to get into that. But it doesn't require soldering. At least that part doesn't. 
So that's what's happening. Uh, this new version is on its way to the user so he can test it out and let me know how it works. Thanks for watching.